Now to the war in Ukraine and President Biden amping up the economic pressure on Russia today with new sanctions and more designed to further squeeze its economy. Meanwhile, Russia continues to carry out indiscriminate attacks on Ukrainian civilians as the desperation to escape escalates. CBS 2's Jessica Moore here in studio with the latest. Jessica? Well, Christina Maurice, Ukraine is under siege tonight and there are new fears that Russia could use chemical weapons against civilians. The White House, as you said, is imposing new sanctions against against Russia as Ukrainians continue to beg the West for air support. The low rumble of heavy artillery fire echoes across Ukraine as Russia continues its merciless assault. Residents outside Kyiv run for their lives, carrying what few things they have left. A Ukrainian soldier ushers a baby to some semblance of safety. Its family will have to brave sniper fire and explosions as they try to escape. Guns are pointed directly at my house and at my son's house, this woman says. He's my only son. Russian airstrikes hit a kindergarten and apartment building in Dinfro, where officials say they face a humanitarian crisis. Among the 2.5 million refugees who have escaped so far, American Jeffrey White, who fled with his wife and newborn son. You just drive and there's people everywhere. Um, they blew up a bridge um, on day two of our journey. Ukrainian forces say they killed a third Russian general today as President Zelensky and his soldiers vow to protect their homeland. We protect our families, so it doesn't matter how they fight. We fight like lions and they won't win. Meanwhile, the West continues to put pressure on Russia. The Pentagon announced today the U.S. is working with allies to get weapons to Ukraine. Putin is an aggressor. He is the aggressor. And Putin must pay the price. President Biden also announced the U.S. and NATO allies are ending normal trade relations with Russia and will cut Moscow off from borrowing from the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. The U.S. will also ban the import of Russian seafood, vodka and diamonds. The Senate approved $14 billion in relief aid and military assistance to Ukraine, but said no to sending warplanes, lest it risk direct military confrontation with Russian President Vladimir Putin. We will not fight the Third World War in Ukraine. We need help in the air because this is our way to survive. This is our way in this war. Some U.S. lawmakers say denying air support to Ukraine is a mistake. We're fearful about what Putin might do and what he might consider as an escalation. It's time for him to be fearful of what we might do. Russia may be planning to use chemical or biological agents against the Ukrainian people. That warning today from the U.N. ambassador after Russia accused the U.S. of supplying chemical weapons to Ukraine. U.S. intelligence is increasingly concerned that chemical weapons will be used by Russia in a false flag attack. In other words, they'll blame it on somebody else to justify more action. And President Biden said today Russia will face severe consequences if it uses chemical weapons. Also today, Putin is threatening to seize the assets of the American companies that suspended operations in Russia. Christine? Jessica, thank you. Stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the war in Ukraine. And for more information on how to help the people there, go to CBSNewYork.com and click on clink links and numbers.